everyone, and welcome to an episode of Jurassic World Alive. What? You had enough of Primal Ops? Well, there's gonna be more soon, don't worry. <laughs> but today, it is Wednesday, and normally, on a Monday, I make a Jurassic World Alive video. However, for whatever reason, I'm not exactly sure why, uh, Ludia has decided uh, to swap when they do events, to start on Wednesday and to finish on Tuesday. So before we do anything in game, let's quickly hop into the events coming this week. So first we have Wednesday and Thursday, which is of course today uh, and tomorrow, which is a Triceps Gen 2 and an Enosaurus. Uh, then Friday, Saturday being a Woolly Rhino, Sinoceratops and Bumpy. And then Sunday to Tuesday, probably one of the only times I, I'd say that actually you probably want to dart the res than you more so the epics really. Uh, you have no Zootoceratops, a uh, fairly used one. Uh, Dracorex Gen 2, unless you're going for, like, Utaranix. Uh, and then, of course, the bear. I can't remember what the bear is called, but the bear is the big player. Now, yesterday, um, which would have been uh, the, the last of last week's uh, res, you had the chance to dart the bear again. So what's happening here is Ludia are deliberately allowing people the chance to get the Apex or the new Apex uh, creature, which is, of course, made by the bear, said bear. I didn't actually dart the bear as much as I could have, which is a tiny bit of a shame. I will just quickly dart a Dracorex, because everybody always asks for Dracorex, because they're still going for the, the birdie, the killer bird, the phosphorus, whatever it's called. Um, phosphorix, or whatever it is. And I might as well just dart. If I get, if I get like, 200, then that's ba I'm basically just getting coin here. Each, each dart is coin. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to be able to get, what, like 400? So I'm not going to be able to do, like, a double darterage. Well, 10 off. Otherwise, sorry, not double darterage, double donations. There we are. So today we're going to be trying to get the new Apex creature. Now, I'm not expecting to get it. I mean, let me rephrase that. I'm definitely not getting it. But what I do want to do is just see or attempt to see just what we need in order to get it. So this is the first Apex in the game ever that Ludia have put in that is, you know, uh, claimable by Fusion. Now, every other one has been raised, but this is the first one that is not. So we need to first scroll all the way to the bottom to see what dinosaurs I have not made, uh, which should only be a couple. I think. Is there any that I haven't done? Ah, yes. That thing. Yes. So this is the new bear. I'll say, I say new. I've actually already faced it in a battle and lost to it because it was actually pretty decent. I think it had a priority move as well. Uh, and it heals just like so. Basically, I should not need to get any more deer DNA. So I've got 10, well, 11, 12. I got 13. 13 attempts, so that's a minimum 130, and let's say I get 20 every time, that's 260, so eh, I probably need a couple more DNA for it to unlock it, but apart from that, we're good. However, the big change is this, the Arctalus, which is a, well, uh, there it is, it needs the new bear and it needs the new deer. So first off, I need to get these guys up to a level 50, or was it level 10? I think, I think it was level 15, so... Coin isn't a problem for me. We got a whole bunch of uh, books as well. Because, I mean, every time, like, a, a new uh, emote comes out, I'll, I'll, like, buy it. If it's a couple of quid, I'll do it. Because I play this game a lot, and I don't mind. I don't mind doing it. it this is my job, so it's all a business expense at the end of the day. <laughs> That's the way I see Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Also, there's, like, new, uh, like, loyalty rewards. I, d I can't even remember how to look at those. Um, so I don't know whether I've, I have actually got them myself. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. We'll just quickly just collect some of this coin. Reimburses, why not? Yes. So there we go. Rank fours. Eh, it's not too bad. I'm not really too fussed on the Alliance rewards, really. As long as, you know, we get uh, minimum silver, I'm happy. Um, right, hold on. Now, I was wanting to look... At, is it in news? Possibly? Uh, there is some sort of battle pass. I've, I've seen it floating about now. I don't know whether it's in the game just yet. You've got campaign. You've got alliances. You've got recruits. Recruiter friends. So this has always been a thing. So you recruit somebody, they get to level 15. You get big rewards, which isn't too bad, actually. I'm pretty sure people have already, you know, 
attempted that and they've, they've got some pretty decent rewards from there. But uh, yes, we're looking for the bear. So this thing, is it 15? I think it was 15. I've got short term memory. We're, we're, that's where we're here. <laughs> so 15. Okay, so we've also got the deer, Corvallis. So not only do we need to get these all to level 15, uh, then we need to be able to fuse the other thing, the one that's made into up to level 25? It's not 25. It can't be 25. 20? Please say 20. Otherwise, that's crazy. Um, but saying that, people have already got it, um, which I don't think is too much of a feat to have been able to have done legit. Because, I mean, if you haven't done legit, you'll probably get banned. I don't know. Um, but there's some people who have got it level 30. That's what I'm like. What? Level 30 already? Jesus. I mean, I guess since you're fusing it, it's actually easier to get to level 30. So maybe that's not too much of a stretch. But that's a lot of data, man. That's crazy levels of... Uh, um, not obsession. Uh, dedication. That's it. A fine line between the two. <laughs> so there we go. We've got 18,000 DNA in order just to plunge into the new hybrid. So that gets them to level 15. Which, you know, maybe they'll be alright in some form of a uh, skill tournament. So we've got only 9,000 DNA of the bear. Why do I have so much of the deer there? Why is that a thing? Okay, this is not looking good then. So it's going to have to be at least a couple of thousand in order to get it to level 15. Which is probably going to take me to what, like 5,000? So, ooh, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to be able to... I wanted to at least give it like a pop. Get like one pop, but I think... Um, we're probably, I mean, we've got the, we've got the, the unique, unique's fine. Don't need any more DNA for that to give it a pop. But the thing is, I need to get the next thing up to level 20, I think it is. Please be level 20. Hold on. So, well, first we need to unlock it. So let's unlock it first. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, it's got a weird, it's, it's doubled. There's two of them. Oh, <laughs> there's a ghost version. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe Ludia's, they always put like the the actual model there, but then they just opacate it out. However, they've put this in front of it, so it actually shows it. That's interesting. So does that mean that when I tap it, I can actually interact with it? Let's see. Can I interact with it? No, I can't. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's like it's false, but actually it is there. That's That's strange. So, that is, it's 200 a pop, so every thousand, that's five. Oh, no. No, it's two, four, six, eight. No, yes, it's five. Oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> and this is just unlocking it. However, saying that, getting it to the next level is half as much. But then after that, it's the same amount, so... <laughs> um, but, I mean, as far as this game's going... You know, I haven't been enjoying playing it as much just because, I don't know, every time the meta changes, it, I seem to drop cups and then I can finally get back up and then a new thing comes out and I go back down because all the top players have it and therefore they, they just squish me down. So, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it is what it is. I still enjoy it. I still enjoy playing the game, but I'm not, you know, I can't be one of these, I can't be one of the people who goes out and darts every day because I don't have that time. Um, and I don't also want to shove hundreds, if not thousands of pounds into the game just to get up to those ranks because this game, even though it is pay to win, it doesn't benefit you to pay to win because, you know, if you go out and dart uh, five T-Rexes or whatever, you get more epic DNA there than you would spending like 200 quid, probably. Um, so here we go. Let's have a look. So what do I need for Octavius? Oh god, it's level 25. Yeah, that's not happening. That is not happening. <laughs> 50, 20, there, well, there you go. There's 4,000. The highest I got was 30. Woohoo! So we can get it up to level 18. And now we run out of bear. Uh, let's swing into a five. Oh, well, you know, there we go. <laughs> Didn't even get an average of 20 per there. Um, so let's just level this guy up to level 17. And then a level 18. And so at least the thing was, I was saving this for a video. And I was wanting to see just how, you know, how far we could get. Um, but oh, look at that. We can get to level 19. Eh, not so bad, I suppose. Although it gets worse every time. So maybe it is bad. 
Uh, but we can still do two more fusions. You know, maybe we get lucky. We get 100. I don't know. No, no, no. It doesn't happen. But hey-ho. So, Arctalus. So, this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I will dart this bear. You've got 18 attempts to dart the bear. Let's say you get 200 each time. So that's 18 pops you're going to get at fusing this thing. So what's that? 180, which on average, that's 10. Well, that's minimum of 10. So we can at least get a level 20 by next week. Because um, I want to try this guy. He's very small. I will admit it's very small in the uh, in the battle arena. It's like a tiny little bear. <laughs> and then it stands up and goes, and, try and heals itself. Um, although I thought the heal would be better than the deer's because the deer got nerfed. Because at one point it was like 600, it would heal on 900. But it's only 300 now. But the bear also has 300. Oh, while we're at it, actually, let's have a look. Do any of these scents give you the bear? They've got to. I'm assuming the snow scent of claws will give you the bear. 25% to get the bear. Only problem is, you know, you can only get 10. Well, you get 20 things once you move around and stuff. Well, 19, because I think the first one is just is one automatically. So I could just set these off in my own spare time. But if I was to walk around, I have way more chance of getting the bear. So, yeah, that's a bit awkward. It's a bit awkward. Anything else that we could? Get the bear in. Anniversary scent, year three. Uh, no. So, is there a year four? Is there a year two? Ooh. Did, I didn't even notice that. It's year three. And then a scent of light. And then you got scent, scent, light, scent, bright. <laughs> so confusing. What, what even is that? And I'm assuming in the rare scent, it'll just be things in your area. But I don't know if the bear is in my area. Okay. Let's have a quick look around. We got Andrew Sarkis there. And uh, yeah, let's do some battles. Oh, here we go. Ooh, right. So I unfortunately cannot use my compies because they are in a sanctuary. I, I do apologize. <laughs> but here we are. I have changed my bird a little bit so it has more speed than it normally does. I took some attack off, put some more speed on. I think I'll take the health off as well and put some more speed on. But as far as openers go, the Taurus, I guess. Why not? Give that a shot. Oh, actually, uh, I think he does remove my cloak. So I'm going to predict he's going to go for that. So I'm going to go for this, make him vulnerable, and then go for a rend. I think that's the best strategy here. Um... Because I could go for a cloak, and he's just gonna do a hit all the way through. And I would, I would, if I'm gonna get hit all the way through, let's at least do some damage to him. Yep, saw that coming. So we, we take like a thousand extra damage, but we've done that much damage, and then on top, all of that damage. So now, what can he do? Let's think about this. There's only a couple things he can do. If he switches, he gives me a cloak. Um, I'm gonna go for my own cloak. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I, I, I think he just had to stay in and attempt to maybe go through the cloak. Oh, which ooh, it's, it's, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Um, I mean, I feel like if he's got the bird, he can go for a priority move and just kill me. Like, it, it doesn't matter about my cloak. I'm not going to negate 4,000 damage through that. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Okay. Okay, well done. He's actually going to go for... The, uh, I would assume he's gonna go for the precise pounce. But, maybe he doesn't. Um, oh, he doesn't? I think he's still killed me. I think he's definitely killed me. It's like so much damage, yeah. I did actually get the cloak. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that, 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 it is what it is. Uh, so, I, oh, you know what it is? I think I might have been able to, like, do loads of damage to him. <laughs> I think I may have even been able to kill him if I hadn't have taken all those attacks off. But, saying that, he probably would have went for a um, an instant distraction. So, I had a game not too long ago against a the Spino Tricks, whatever it is. And I I mean, I presumed he would go for instant distraction. And I went for my, like, sidestep and outplayed him. So, that, that was pretty happy about that one. <laughs> so, hey, look, a level 30 deer. I bet you're glad you wasted all that DNA on it. Oh, we get lucky with the crit. Interesting, interesting. So, I mean, what can we go for here? Like, he does 1,600. I got 1,700. I'm actually faster than him anyway. So, like, I apologize. This is just going to be... I will eventually kill him. It's just going to take some time. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna go fish. I'm gonna go for um, my devastation here, knowing he's gonna go for his shield. And the reason why I'm gonna do that, uh, I'm gonna do the predictive play because he'll, he'll, he should go for his dig in now, is because next turn. I'll go for my shield, and then he'll probably go for his devastation, and then I can go for my devastation the turn after, knowing that he has no shield. So it's it's a bit unfortunate. You've got to play the long game when it comes like deer v deer versus deer, even though you know this guy or this deer has its new hybrid. Um, people still use it because there's been a long enough time that most people have either put boosts in it and got it to level 30 um, or just like it that now you can even work towards the bear and still have this in your team which is interesting so we're gonna do that uh, I kind of assumed that was gonna happen so he I would say he's winning uh, but then again this now is the first time that a devastation is gonna go through um, and I think he's, he's just used his own devastation now. So, oh, 2,800. Uh, he, he's not going to do it now. However, I can now go for my shield when it's his devastation. So that's going to make the difference here. Um, I think, right? Go for shield, devastation, and now I can go for my shield. Oh, I can't go for my shield. Okay, okay. So he can go for his devastation now. Um, I still think... Oh, he doesn't! Why, though? Why would... Why would you not do that? You fool. Because, like, at one time, you'd probably be able to heal all that damage. He still goes for loads. <laughs> he's, he's, oh, sorry, he still gets, like, 400 and odd health? Why do I only get 300? It must be due to... He's got a tiny bit more health, so that must be what it's based on. I think it was always based on that anyway. That's why you'd want to boost the uh, health of your deer. Um, oh my god. Okay. I mean, you want to do damage anyway, right? Why Why are you going for the little hit? At least do your devastation and do some damage. I don't understand. Like, I'm slowly whittling him down. And he's not really doing a great deal. I mean, now he's going to do devastation. But the thing is, he's traded that off for oh, a difference of almost 2,000 now. And he's, I don't know whether he's used to doing a deer v deer battle because now he's going to go for his digging. Um, yeah, it's 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 actually not working out for him. I don't know if he realizes, but uh, as well as I'm losing health, but he's, he's losing more health than I'm losing. So unless I'm not seeing the bigger picture here... Um, I think he's, he's going to be first, but I'm going to have to go for this. I'm going to have to go for this. And then... Okay, it's going to be one more round of deer hits. And then I can kill him. So I'll go for this, my devastation now. And you see, that's the thing. That's what you avoided last time. You should have done that. I would be even an, I'd be on even more low health. But you didn't for some reason. And now what you're going to do... You're too heavily invested to switch out. Because now it'll all be wasted if he does. Um, and... Yeah, like... He has to go for his... His dig in next turn. And then another devastation. And then he's dead. Yeah. So it's either he switches out and gives me all my health back. Or he just now just tries to just do as much damage as he could. So, I mean... The difference there is he didn't play that right. And already going first and having a turn ahead on the devastation allowed me to, you know, take lead of this battle. Um, so this is going to be my final heal. Um, so, I, I mean, he, he could have probably switched there knowing that I would have full health but wouldn't hit. Doesn't make a difference. He's dead in next turn. He's dead. So he got me to how much health did he get me down? How much was that? I think I've actually gained health now. I'm on 4,000 and he's dead. Like, that was so bad. I'm, I'm a lower level, uh, but I do more attack. I do, I am faster, but he had more health. Just shows it's all about the attack, especially when you're doing four times damage. You know, 50, 50 extra attack turns into 200 extra attack. So there you go. Uh, so now we can actually do his birdie bird. Um, and the birdie bird won't kill me. Um, and that's GG, I think, because he's going to go first. 
He's gonna go for that extra attack. He's he probably hopes for a crit here. Um, I have so much armor though. Um, doesn't get the crit. I heal. I cleanse myself of that. Reduce his speed. And next turn I go for devastation, which goes straight through his uh, his sidestep. So um, yeah, well played and uh, GG I guess. <laughs> Unless he's gonna switch. Unless he's gonna switch. I won that with two dinosaurs, Indo Taurus and the deer which all have very easy counters. Um, but yeah, that was just way too easy. I I'm so sorry about that guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am only on 5,000, like 700 odd cups, now 5,800. So it didn't really make too much of a difference to me per se. Uh, and I'm quite low for what I am, but I've just been losing and losing. I'm facing against all these teams, man. And Schoonosaurus is just so good. In fact, actually, while we're here, let's boost up Schoonosaurus. Because I'd actually like to put that on my team. Because it's just too invaluable. Wow, we've actually already got it to level 25. That's not so bad. Although, do you need to be higher? Oh, oh yes. Take it all. Finally some use for the, uh, the freaking... Uh, legendary uh, Kula Sutures. Oh my god, I'm still way too high. It's <laughs> way too much DNA. So I could do 20 pops. Let's go, 20. Oh, 80 and a 50. No way, 510. Oh, that takes me to level 27, I think. Um, right, okay, let's do two more fuses. Ah, some 20s. Not too bad. Two more, two more uh, five fuses. But, I mean, getting this guy to level 30... It's uh, the thing is right. I spent all my time doing this. Oh, another eighty. Even though I got a forty, just shows. <laughs> um, it's just like as soon as I get this to level thirty, the meta will change, and Schoonosaurus won't be as good. And then, or something will come to counter the Schooner, and then I've just wasted all this time. Just like Dino or Dino or whatever it was. That used to be really good when the game first started, and I have not used it since. The only one I, I've used since the beginning is Utaranix, and that's because it got a buff. So here we go. Uh, is that a hundred thousand? So a little bit more attack, a little bit more health. And then we can get to level 27. I still think, you know what, a level 27 would still probably be, be probably be, be, be usable, I'd say. So level 27 there. Uh, so we're three levels away. And, you know, next level takes 7,000. I think a 9,000 health schooner. And then the rest just being on attack. With that decelerating counter. With the invincibility. With the two group attacking things. And cleansing damage over time. Like, here we go. Cleanse The first attack, resilient strike, cleanse, reduce damage. That's uh, Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Group decelerating. Anything that needs to be priority, like... Um, Phosphor, the Phosphor Bird thing that does the instant attack, or any Compsognathus. Instant invincibility. Uh, that's something like, I don't know, um, what is it? Uh, the Intertaurus, or if you just don't want to be hit, and restricting group distraction. Just There's just so much here. Resistance to stun, reduce uh, damage, reduce speed, vulnerability, and oh, it's, it's just really good. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here because we could go on for ages and I don't have the time today. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you goodies later. Oh, bye-bye.